Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a puzzle that's actually been suggested to me many, many, many times over the past year or so. Ever since I started doing barrels, people wanted me to barrel a puzzle twice, once on one axis and then once on another. So I'm going to be doing that in this video. I started as I usually do by tightening up the puzzle so that the layers didn't turn while I was cutting it on the bandsaw. And uh, then I adjusted the table on my bandsaw to 45 degrees. Now I was going to start by cutting out a rough octagonal barrel, pretty much like I usually start with my barrels. And after I finished with that, I put the puzzle back on the bandsaw and then I cut out a barrel shape on a different axis. And what this left me with was a barrel on two axes and I didn't really know how I was going to approach this puzzle from this point forth. I figured that I was going to fill up all of the pieces and then I was going to turn it like a regular barrel just on one axis and then on another. I got out all of my epoxy sculpt and I filled up all of the pieces. I didn't bother to disassemble the puzzle because a puzzle like this doesn't really need to be disassembled. And then I took some of the center caps out so that I'd be able to place my fingers on the center pieces while I was rotating the puzzle on the belt sander. And the method that I use to actually make a barrel shape, for those of you that are new here, is I hold the puzzle between my fingers and I let it spin freely on the belt sander, holding it at an angle to the travel of the belt. That way it uh, grinds away at the uh, plastic very slowly. And uh, after I finished barreling the puzzle on one axis, I was pretty happy with how everything was looking, so I started barreling it on the second axis. And I was pretty happy with the shape of the puzzle so far, it was rolling on both axes just fine, so now it was time to disassemble it and sand all the pieces. Alright, so there seems to be a couple problems with the pieces. Uh, as I'm sanding these up, I'm noticing there were a lot of cavities and holes opening up inside them. So I'm going to let you guys in on a little trick of mine. If you're like me, you have dust and lots of it. And I'm going to show you how you can use this. Okay, so we can see how this piece has some cavities in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill it up with a little bit of super glue. Not too much. And now this is not a joke. I'm just going to sprinkle some of that dust on all of that super glued area and I'm just going to press it down. So I'm going to let it solidify. And if there's still a bit of a cavity, what we can just do is get some more super glue on there. There as well. Sprinkle a little bit more on. And what this does is this is just hardening all of the glue and it's turning all of that stuff into filler. And if you wait for a little bit, that's going to harden and then you can sand it. And I reassembled the puzzle and I was really happy with how everything was looking. The shape of the puzzle was very, very uniform. Both of the uh, axes were turned fantastically. The pieces were all really nice and smooth and I just really loved the overall look of the puzzle. I painted it off camera and then I was going to sticker it up but I actually filmed this build video on Easter so I kind of had family over and other stuff to do. I'm actually going to get Oliver to cut some stickers for this puzzle so that you guys can buy a sticker set for yourselves if you choose to make this puzzle. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time.